you can find templates that you can use as a starting point for your comps by simply using After Effects in conjunction with the Adobe Bridge. Now, when you install the Creative Suite, the bridge is typically installed automatically. So what I'm going to do is hop over to the bridge here. And you'll see that I have my presets folder as a favorite. And I mentioned this elsewhere in the course, but I'm going to mention it again, just in case. When you navigate your computer, and you can do that by going to this little folder here, computer, find your application folder, and then locate After Effects. You will find a folder called Presets. Just click and drag this folder right over here under the Favorites tab, and it will always be there for you. Now you're going to find all kinds of great things in here. And if I go to Backgrounds, for example, we can see some templates that we can use that animate. So we can go ahead and use this for news, videos, all kinds of cool stuff. So let's take a look at a couple of them. I'll go to Cosmic Power. Now, how cool is that? You can do this, you know, very easily. And you can bring this right into your comps. So what I'm going to do is right click on Cosmic Power, which I actually have, by the way. I'm going to place in After Effects. Once again, right click and choose Place in After Effects. And when I scrub, I now have the power. I'm going to head back over to After Effects and let's try something else. Let's see Creepy. I guess that's creepy. I mean, if I was sleeping and I woke up and I saw that, I guess I'd be freaked out. <laughs> Not really creepy, After Effects. All right, let's check out Germs. All right, it's cool. Lightning Bend. Magma. Infection. River and more. And once again, these can come in quite handy just to give you something that's moving in your background when you're transitioning from scene to scene so that you don't distract your audience too much. I mean, you don't want this to continually play. So just, just once again, choose one of these guys and right click on it and place it into After Effects. As you see here, it lives on a solid and you can throw these guys open and study them if you want to. Let me move this up a little bit for you. And you can just really see how Adobe built these. And you would think that, you know, something like this is not as complicated as you could imagine. But man, there's a lot of stuff back here that's going on. So, you know, when you have time, bring some of these guys in After Effects and just twirl them open and just study them and dissect them and see what they chose and really get a feel for how complex some of these effects really are. So once again, guys, that is a look at some of the templates that you can bring into After Effects.